Hey, welcome on, guys. Yeah, botch my intro. Fuck. Hey, what's going on, guys? Doing some little gun connoisseur series with me here. Nothing fancy, nothing more to it than that. Just go run around picking up people's guns and shit. And of course, fucking bitch hiding in the corner. What's new? Anyways, so. As you guys can tell, this is gun connoisseurs, except, uh, I've got this thing with me. Jesus Christ. If the game will let me pass through. I'm just gonna pick up the Sim 416 camo, because I don't feel like I'm gonna use the PG industry. Hey, sup, buddy? I'm gonna come here and take your gun. There we go. Pick this back up. Heh <laughs> Pick this gun up. Okay. We'll just end up picking up people's guns, uh, the same guns over and over again. Not that I mind. And of course, I have no idea where that came from. I'm way too used to Soldier Run 2 where I actually keep a grenade in Kinder. Just know when grenades coming. <clears throat> Anyways, so there was one thing that I did want to talk about, and that was the fact that uh, a lot of people are expecting, you know, combat arms videos out of me. And while that isn't an unreasonable demand, it's like, well, you know, just fucking calm down on it. I'll get it to you. You know, I've never really understood the whole relationship between, uh, you know, YouTubers and, uh, and viewers or subscribers. It's kind of a... I think... It's kind of a strange one to me. It's like, viewers, a lot of viewers out there kind of behave them, like, kind of conduct themselves in a way that, you know, it seems like they're, like, demanding stuff from, you know, YouTubers. Like, demanding stuff to, to be given to them. You know, it's like, well, okay. It's it's kind of like a weird balance that's going on between like YouTuber and the subscriber. It's um I don't know. It's it's definitely a very curious relationship. I'm not saying it's a good one, but you know. It's definitely there. It's like, I don't know, I feel like the attitude that a lot of viewers have towards bigger YouTubers is like, oh, it's because since you're so popular and you have so many subs, it's like, it should be your, you know, it should be your responsibility to fucking, um, get people, make videos about something, you know, s some particular game or something like that, and trust me, I'm not, I'm not free from that as well, you know, even though I'm not, you know, a huge YouTuber. Because I'm still a combat arm YouTuber, there are still thing, there are still people out there who, you know, expect me to treat this like a job and give them combat arms videos on a daily fucking basis. And while, of course, I have no problem with that, because that's kind of what my channel is known for, and because this channel is monetized, you know, I do, I do agree that, you know, I do have a sense of uh, responsibility to get, you know, make those kinds of videos and provide them to, to my audience. Problem is, is when you start demanding things, it's, it's like, well, you're, ex you're setting a bar for people, you know. You, you start to set a bar for people and once you realize that it can't be, uh, it can't be met, then it's like, well, you're making life hard, harder on yourself because it's like when when you expect things from people and they don't deliver, then you get angry. And for what reason? You're not. You, it's like you're getting angry for a completely arbitrary reason just because someone isn't giving you, you know, free content. Because YouTube videos is free. I mean, you know, not yet anyway. Oh, it still is for now anyway. Um, yo, dude, I heard you like mines. I'm here to tell you that you're a faggot for using mines. Anyways, so it's like you're expecting someone to give you free content because all YouTube videos are free. You know, there's you pay no money to view YouTube videos, and uh, you know it's like 
You get angry over that? Like, fucking seriously? And by all means, it's like, if, like, for example, this other dude just asked me to make more Combine videos, um, just the other day. Uh, leaving one of my, one, uh, a comment on one of my CSGO videos. And I was like, well, okay, I'll do that. But you have to realize that, I just fucking pre-fired the shit out of that dude. Like, you have to realize that, uh, I have my own business to attend to. I have, I have fucking school. I got a part-time job to worry about. It's like, I'm not gonna be able to deliver everything for you guys. It's like, like, let's be real. Here. And that, and the fact that CA is not, and not as fun as it used to be, certainly doesn't help things either. It's like, jeez, just be patient. Just realize that nowadays I'm not really too into combat arms anymore. And instead I'm into other games like Soldier Front and, you know, uh, CSGO. You know, fuck, man. People always expect things to stay the same. And people always expect things to, to be given to them. It's like, no, that's not how life works. This is, that's not how you're supposed to behave. I mean, because it's the internet, sure, fine. You can act like a bitch all you want, but it's like you don't act like that in real life. You know, if, if, because if you act that way to, to people, then you know people are going to start avoiding you because they'll they'll start knowing that oh you're that one kid who just d expects and demands shit out of everyone else and doesn't really do anything about it on on his own. See if I can get it with the sniper. Woo, got him. So it's like, and this obviously this isn't the first time that's happened before. You know, other times when I took uh, took a little break from combat arms. You know, people, people. There were always people who were like, "Oh, what? When are you gonna make more combat arms videos and shit like that?" And it's like, like, jeez. People really do expect a lot of shit out of uh, YouTubers nowadays. Like, if you put it, if I think of it that way, then it's like, yeah, bigger YouTubers have quite the responsibility that's kind of given to them uh, by by other people, like their subscribers, like. Damn, people can be fucking annoying. Forty, forty fucking fall damage from that. Fucking
Christ, so many mind using faggots. Round start. I don't know about you guys, but just going back to that topic I was talking about earlier, you know, I like to live my life not having very high expectations out of anyone. Part of the reason for that is because I'm, as you guys probably know, I'm a pretty pessimistic person. And uh, when you when you become a fairly pessimistic person, um, one of the side consequences of that is the fact that you start you stop really expecting anything out of anyone. Because it's like, well, if you expect high thing, a lot of things out of other people, then it's like, why the hell should like, and they don't like they fail to deliver? Then it's kind of like, well, you just waste all your effort. And you obviously, you have to suffer the emotions of being let down and shit like that. So I don't obviously I don't want that to happen to me because I've already I've had a lot of experiences of having my own expectations uh, crushed and you know shit on and whatnot. So I tend not to have any expectations on anyone. I'll just grab this gun because because. And I'll grab them 16 again because why not? Oh, I can describe this. Well, that was easy. So, well, okay. Thanks, TRG41, for being a bitch. That just worked out real well. <laughs> that worked out real well. Well, a lot better than I expected. 